Beautiful city, Addis Ababa, Central Ethiopia. Time landing here on the streets of Addis Ababa. Visit Ethiopia, visit Addis Ababa, man. This beautiful country, beautiful city. Clean roads, as you can see, clean streets. Traffic moving around very well. Yeah, here, making more videos for you guys. Let's explore this beautiful country, Addis Ababa. So, I just got to this place here, and as you can see, they've got some food trucks over there. I think this is a place where people come, you know, to get some food, some lunch. So I'm gonna walk through there, probably get some food because I'm feeling a bit hungry. It's lunchtime. This is beautiful. Look, I pray I think people, you know, come here to chill. I don't know what's down there. Maybe it's like a a train. Um, maybe it's a train station. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, it's just parking because over there it says basement parking, and you just drive through here. I don't know if you're allowed to go through here. So. Can I jump through here? I don't know. Because um, I've got, you know, these plastic ribbons around it. So I don't know if you're allowed to go through. So let me walk through and see if I can go through there and see what that place is about as we explore at the Sababa. So these are food trucks um, and coffee as well. You can get some food from here. Hey, my friend, can I get through? If I want to buy food, can I? To come there, can I through? Oh, over there, okay. Hey, there's an entrance there. Let me just walk around. It's not allowed to come in. Why? I don't. Why? I'm filming it's myself. Pay, pay. pay what? Pay yeah. who? 450 even. Why? I don't. I'm filming myself. Okay, no, no, no. I'm going to get food, food, food. No, for me. Is not allowed camera. Where's the rules? It's who said that? Where's the rules? You have the rules on the paper? <laughs> Where? Where's the rules? Where? Where's the rules on the paper? You have them written down? Yeah. Rules? Where? Show me, show me. You gonna show me? I can't feel. I'm filming myself. I'm filming myself. Me. I'm looking look, look. I'm filming me, me, me only. Look outside. I'm going to get food. I'm going to buy food. Oh, no, I'm filming. Off, off. But I'm filming me. No. I'm going to buy food. Oh yeah. No. So guys, here we go. So I wanted to go through this place to get some food while I'm filming, obviously, to show you guys the type of foods they make here. But I ran into one of these guys, I don't know if it's a security guy here, but um, he was saying that you're not allowed to film unless you're paying. So, <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a rule here, or maybe he just wanted to be a scammer. So, I said, fuck that, I'm not paying him. He's saying 200 baht just to pay, just to film while I'm walking. I said to him, I just want to go get some food. He said, no, you have to pay. I'm like, later. So, I'll get some food somewhere else. Anyway, we'll keep exploring. So, I spoke about this before, man, but you have to be careful about, you know, things like that as you're walking around. Here, you get some people here. It happened to one of my boys, actually. They told him that he had to pay somewhere to film. Luckily, he didn't pay either. But, yeah. So, I wanted to go through here to get some food from these food trucks. But, you can't film as you go in there. The main point of me going in there, I wanted to eat something and, you know, show you the food. So if I can't do that, then I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, so we'll keep exploring. We're doubling back. Look at this place, very beautiful. Beautiful sunny day here in Addis Ababa. As we keep exploring. So anyway. Hey, Miles. What's going on? Look who it is. <laughs> Look who it is. What's going on? <laughs> you good? You're showing the Mexico Square? Yeah, bro, I wanted to. Yeah. So I went over there, right? Yeah. I wanted to go where those food trucks are okay. to get some food. Yeah. But I want to eat, but I also wanted to film, obviously, to show the food. Okay. The guy told me, the security guy told me, I think they told you this the other day or something. Yeah. It was like, you can't film here, or you have to pay 200 baht to film. Uh, to inside? Yeah, okay. it's like, you can't, you know, you can't film in there unless you pay 200 okay. baht. So I was like, later, yeah. I'm not paying that. Yeah. So yeah. I said, you know, I'll go eat somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'll catch up with you. Well, I've been out there already. All right, catch up with you there. So, yeah, so guys, that's uh, one of my guys, Maya. I'm sure you've seen him in, you, you see him in my previous videos that I shot before this one. So I'm staying with him. Cool, cool guy I met here. Yeah. Uh, he's from America, so yeah, cool guy. So I'm walking through Susa Ababa and I'm hungry. And my friend, how are you? Can you, is that fresh? Is that fresh? Yeah. How much? How much? How much? How much bar? How much? 
I wanna buy some pineapple here. No, not the whole, just like two. Like two, how much? Some fresh fruit here. Ten baht for two? Okay, I have two, two. Uh, I'm gonna get some pineapple here and eat. Give me two, two, two. Yeah. Yeah. Some pineapple here. You have change? So two pieces for ten bar. No bad. Let's grab a change and bounce. What's your name, bro? Huh? Okay. Your name is Murgeta. Murgeta? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Okay. Do you need taxi? I have taxi. No, bro, I don't need taxi. I'm good, bro. Okay, pieces of pineapple. Here. Let's enjoy them for a minute. And then we'll keep it moving. Hopefully they're fresh. Pineapple on the streets of Addis Ababa. Crunchy. Crunchy. Very sweet as well. Mmm. Nice. Mm. Nice. As we explore, let's go. Mm. Hello. What's this? What's this? What's this? How much? One twenty bucks. No, no. What's inside? Meat, vegetable. What's inside? Vegetable. Vegetable. And this vegetable? Meat. Meat. What's Mister? Chicken? No, chicken no. Vegetable. Vegetable. Oh, okay, okay. I want some meat. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. So guys, we got in the what's this a super supermarket? Huge, huge building. Maybe it's a supermarket, I don't know. Or just corporate building. So regarding um street foods here in Addis Ababa, what I think I think it contributes to the streets being clean because if you you know you're in a you know in a place where there's loads of street foods, I guess people are gonna be buying a lot of foods and they're gonna be littering a lot on the streets. But the streets here are very, very clean. So the culture here, people here you hardly see anybody walking around the streets as you can see eating, being like me, buying <laughs> pineapple and chewing. Here people find somewhere to sit down and eat. And I guess that's why you don't really find too much, you know food and all of that uh, dirt on the streets the streets are you know very clean here the culture in Ethiopia people sit down to eat that's why when you go to some restaurants <laughs> they don't give you no tissues no napkins or service whatever you want to call them so if you're traveling to Ethiopia and you're thinking of going to restaurants a lot to eat out carry your own tissues bring your own tissues or napkins to dry your hands when you wash your hands but here when you go to restaurants like I've been mentioning you wash your hands you wash your hands to eat here the culture here they use their hands a lot unless you ask them yo 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 so bless so here the culture here here they use their hands a lot to eat so you wash your hands when you're going to eat foods like injera obviously and use your hands but they don't give you nothing to dry your hands so you have a <laughs> wear for your hands to dry or you eat you know wear hands salamna how you doing? People selling clothes here on the streets. Uh, I might buy some tissues actually. Yeah, actually, she's selling tissues. Hand tissues. Hello. How much tissues? These. These. These small tissues. How much? Huh? How much? How much bar? How much? Ten bar? For one? You okay? You want? You want? Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, Ten bar for one? I just want two, two. Give me two, two. Two twenty, okay? I know, I know. She said twenty. Yeah. Two? Thank you. This tissue, yeah? Yeah. I then, want two. Then two twenty. So I was saying about tissue here when you go in the restaurants. I'm buying my own tissues. As I'm exploring, find a friend here. He sells water. Sounds like a cool guy. Like I said, people here in Ethiopia are very friendly. So. Let me say hello to him. I think he's looking for somewhere to put his water down. I'm gonna say to you. So, 
show, you know, street, you know, vendors here selling stuff, glasses and stuff. He's here. So that's your car? That's your car? Yeah? Okay. So, I think I'm gonna double back now, anyway. Walk to be far. So what's your name, bro? To walk where? To go that way? No, no, I'm okay, bro. I'm going back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he wanted me to follow him. He's working, he's selling water. So I'm gonna double back and make my way back to the apartment. Um, I'm meeting a gentleman here. He's gonna exchange some money for me. I'll be giving you guys some advice on that as well, um, about money exchanging. I'll talk about that. It'll probably be a different video um, about how to use money here in Ethiopia. I'll give you a bit of a, I'll give you some advice, some good advice on that. If you're coming here with your foreign currency, like dollars or whatever, or pounds like me coming from London, I'll give you, I'll probably do a separate video to this, giving you some advice on how to exchange money or, or where to exchange money. Or if you come here in Ethiopia, like Sababa, I might point you in the right direction of some, you know, some cool places where to go. What's up bro? To exchange some money. Okay, let's go. It's a beautiful day here in Addis Ababa. Wanted to come out to show you guys some energy on the streets of Addis Ababa. Like, as you can see. Um, to show you guys how, you know, these streets look like. As I give you some, you know, advice. Um, that I'm picking up along the way. Somebody like me who's just been there a few days. <laughs> this is my fourth day. Yeah. I arrived here Saturday. Yeah, so this is like my fourth day here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. And this, this city here, you know, they sell loads of fruits for a country that's landlocked. That's not really surrounded by water. And another advice for you guys, actually, when you come to Addis Ababa, because this place here, during the day, is very, very dry, as you can see. Like I've been saying, the sun, you know, really comes up and it's really hot during the day. And it's really humid. It's kind of humid and it's kind of like, it's aggressive on your skin. So I'll actually be making a video, a separate video, um, telling you about the essential things you should be bringing here when you're coming to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It'll be, a, a, you know, a different video in itself. But... One of the things I will uh, mention right now to you guys is if you're coming to Addis Ababa, man, I know you're probably going to be like, but time, man, that's for ladies or whatever, man. Listen, your lips will get dry down here, man. <laughs> so bring some lip balm or whatever you want to call it. For ladies, lip gloss, because your lips will be dry down here as you walk around in this heat, man. Obviously, drink a lot of water to hydrate, stay hydrated, but yeah, bring some, you know, lip balm or something like that to keep your lips moist nobody wants to walk around with dry lips <laughs> I've got mine here so yeah bring that and I'll be making a video separately uh, naming essential things you must bring that I think you should bring when you come to Addis Ababa yeah as we explore I must say man Addis Ababa um, in most of the places you go to, there's a lot of beautiful ladies here in Addis Ababa, man. Beautiful ladies. Yeah, so like you can see these are restaurants, people sit down and eat. Yeah. Restaurants are everywhere here. Hello? These are streets. Let me turn it around on me, in case people get paranoid. Hello? So yeah, as we keep walking, some drinks over here. I'm gonna stop off and buy some snacks before I get back to the actual apartment. Because definitely gonna need some snacks for later. I haven't gone shopping yet. Um, I haven't seen actually big shopping malls here. I've seen smaller, small shops that sell things. But regarding big, you know, shopping malls here in Addis Ababa, I don't think they're really popular. So, or maybe they are in some places, but I haven't seen one yet. You know, those big shopping malls. If you're like, we're shopping, um, you know, supermarkets. Like if you're if you're from London, I'm talking about, you know, Tesco's and Iceland and all of those, you know, supermarkets. But hey, I haven't seen one like that yet. So maybe I just haven't run into one yet. But maybe they're not popular. Loads of street clothes. 
Yeah. Uh, sweet shops here that sell clothes, phone accessories here, phone covers, street clothes over here. We've got a pharmacy here. Actually, let me go and see if I can buy some cold medicine because I feel like I'm catching a cold. It's windy, I don't know if you can hear me clearly, but yeah. My job is to give you guys information of places that I travel to so that when you come, at least you come well equipped. Ideas on places to stay, where to exchange money, and how to move when you're in these places. So that's my job. So I don't just make videos of places I go for the sake of it. Of course, I go there to show you guys different ways of living, different cultures, foods and stuff like that. But my main goal is to give you the, you know, to give you information. My channel is all about information. So you guys that always ask me questions on my Instagram, I will always try to answer your questions as much as I can. So yeah, keep following the channel. If you get value from my channel, you know, from my videos, make sure you subscribe because more videos coming. I'm here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I wanna be moving around in different places, you know, showing you guys more places and bringing you guys more information on this channel. So sub subscribe, you know, recommend my channel to your peoples. Let's get to 10,000 know, subscribers, man. Let's grow together. Follow me as we travel around the world. As this year, 2023, my plan is to go to a few countries and I wanna take you guys with me. I might be in your country, you never know. If you're watching this from you know, I might be in your country, you never know. So, subscribe and follow the journey. Your boy, Time London. Let's travel together. All right, let's get to 10,000 subscribers, man. If you're watching this, just subscribe, man. It only takes one, one or two seconds. Subscribe and hit that bell notification so that whenever I drop a new video, you know, you get notified. So yeah, let's explore together and bring you guys more videos, more information about these places I travel to. From beautiful places like this, it's a barber. Yeah. So yeah. What's up, my people from Uganda? All right. There's my boy over here working hard. Hello. You okay? Yeah. This country, man, is full of hardworking people, man. You see people working, like people selling things on the streets. Obviously, people over there collecting rubbish, cleaning the city. So yeah. Let's keep exploring Addis Ababa. Say what you want to say to me now.